U.S. Senator Rick Scott hosted a roundtable in Jacksonville focused on education. His team calls the tour through the state, however, make Washington work. Senator Scott says the nation's government has to make changes to get the economy turned around. The ultimate goal is to make sure every citizen has the opportunity to live a dream. And every, every citizen has got a different dream. Republican Senator Rick Scott spent more than an hour today at Kaiser University talking with leaders in education from Northeast Florida. The presidents of UNF, FSCJ, Kaiser University's local campus, plus local educators and Duval County school board members. If you think about it, every family, the future is their kids' education. And every parent wants to make sure they have an education that so they can get a good paying job. So what you want to do is make sure whatever the institution is, whether it's virtual schools or homeschooling or private schools or charter schools or traditional public schools, and our universities and our state colleges, they all work together. The educators spoke about partnering, internships, per student funding, and school choice. Part of the conversation turned to finding solutions outside of leaning on the federal government. Senator Scott says that's something he learned from his mother. So what we have to do is put the family back in the responsibility business. Don't, don't rely on the government's going to set up some rule that's going to solve your problem. How can you solve these problems on your own? There's some things the government has to do, but a lot of it you can do yourself, and you should take advantage of that. Democrats have taken note of what happened on Capitol Hill last week, an historic battle to name a new Speaker of the House of Representatives that delayed swearing in of the 118th Congress. Democrats were unified on their candidate, but in the minority. Republican Kevin McCarthy eventually won the leadership position on the 15th and final ballot. I asked Scott about the contentious process, which he calls a good one. We ought to be fighting about things. We ought to be fighting about how do we make sure we don't waste your dollars? How do we make sure making government more accountable? How do we make sure government smaller? How do we make sure we reduce taxes? How do we balance the budget, reduce the debt, all these things? Where do we have fights about that? I'm very optimistic that this we're having real conversations now about where this country has got to go. Senator Scott, he's got a contentious relationship with some of his colleagues in the Senate. Last month, Democrats blocked his proposed amendment to the IRS expansion. Senator Scott also unsuccessfully ran to become Senate Minority Leader.